Hello, welcome to Smiley Tutorials. I'm KitKit and today I'll be showing you how to change a part's color. There's a couple ways to do this and once you find out how to do it, you can make a lot of things using this knowledge of changing a part's color. We're going to start by adding a part to the workspace, which is fairly simple. <clears throat> and now we're going to add a script to the part. So before we go into writing the script, as you can see up here, you can change a part's color by using this menu. And that's done in the workspace, non-scripted. However, some people might want to change the part's color in a script so that you can have more interesting options with this. So now we're going to go into the script. We're going to delete the print hello world. And we're going to start by identifying the part. So we can just write local part. So we're defining the part. And we're putting the script as a pair. So that means the script's parent is part, and that's easily defined. Now we do part brick color. New. And then we have to find out <clears throat> what color to put. So they're already giving options here. So we can choose for example, bright orange. Now, that's like the most basic version of this script. So we can test it out and see if it works. And it did work. Now the part has changed from pink to bright orange. So, now I'm going to show you how to use this script in many other situations. So now let's write it so that the part will change colors between two colors automatically. So all we need to do is, after this, we put a wait. Let's do wait two seconds. And then the same thing, part And let's do bright blue. There we go. And then again, wait. And now, before we start, we need to also put this in a loop so that this loops again and again. So, we're just gonna put a while true to a loop. And then we have to put end here. Okay, let's test this out. Yep, yeah, and it looks like it's working. The part is changing color every two seconds. This can be used on police sirens or flashing lights. It can be, you can have many options with this. And the last thing I want to do today is a little bit more complex, but we're going to make the part change color when it's touched by a humanoid. So we're going to keep this identifier. And now we're going to get the code for touching humanoid. <clears throat> so just follow what I write.
Okay, so here I've got the strip. Let's test it out and see if it works. So when I touch this part, it should turn red. And it does work. Now all I need to do is, you can, when you can make it change back to pink. So what color am I using right now? Let's test, let's see if I can make it change back. Okay, let's see if this works. It does. That changes to different shade of pink. <clears throat> but this can be used on spawners and things to identify time passing. So yeah, you can use this script for pretty much anything. And it offers you a lot of freedom. So thank you guys for watching this video, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And most of all, most important of all, don't forget to stay smiley. See you guys in the next video.